If you take a look at Joey Gallo and think something looks a little different about him this year, you're right. You're right. The beard is back. Joey Gallo's power's back, baby. It's, it was all in the beard. That stupid Yankee policy that they can't have facial hair or the mustaches. Robbed Gallo of his power. It's clear. It's clear. He hit two home runs today in Kansas City. He also had a double and drew a walk for the Twins. It was really the driving force of this series sweep clinching victory at the K. Twins beat the Royals. Twins overcome an appearance by Emilio Pagan in this one as well. Against all odds. Against all odds. Joe Ryan. Got the start for the Twins. Six innings, three hits, one run, two walks, six strikeouts on 80 pitches for Joe Ryan. Uh, Breaking out some kind of new look slider. A little bit of a new look changeup. A splitter for him. Here's the breakdown of his pitches. And remember last year he had 60% fastball. So uh, mixing it up a little bit more in this first outing at least. And this was Ryan Jeffers' first game of the season. That's who was catching Joe Ryan today. And he delivered a pair of two-out RBI hits. The Twins actually scored six of their seven runs in this one with two outs. So great to see them delivering here. And then again, Pagan survived Emilio Pagan. He took over with a four-run lead, only gave up one run. So a twin sweep, and I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, it's just the Royals. But take a look at this. Last season, the Twins were a terrible road team, and the Royals were actually a pretty solid home team. I think there's plenty of reason to be very... Uh, pleased with this outcome for the Twins starting the year 3-0. Let's go, baby. Hit that join button. Become a member because tomorrow is Member Monday. So this Marlins series is going to start. That's going to be a members-only video. Uh, here we have a 3-up, three 3-down three from this KC series. Buxton and Larnick. Larnick being the cleanup, cleanup man, especially really encouraged by that performance. Jorge Lopez putting last year's poor end behind him. Kepler Gordon, Ofers, and Giovanni Moran gave up the first home run of his big league career in this game today to Matt Duffy. And the obvious up goes without saying the starting pitching staff, the rotation, great in these three outings. Just one run given up. Awesome. Over to the Saints. Here's Mark Contreras hitting a home run. I apologize. This is the only ho- uh, highlight Excuse me, I got from this game. Uh, the things are a little bit different with MLB and MILB.TV, and I can't figure out how to get the replay of a game up. So I caught this while the game was going on. You know, not having any problems watching these games live, but obviously... Going to need to find a way to pull up these archive games. Uh, anyway, here is how they did at the plate. Edward Julian with another offer, but he did draw a walk. Matt Walder had both a double and a triple in this one. And again, Mark Contreras was providing uh, the big power draw win three runs. On the pitching side, Randy Dobnak uncharacteristically walked five batters. Uh, but other than that, kind of navigated through that. And then it was Austin Schalfer, Oliver Ortega, and Connor Sedzek out of the bullpen. Sadzak is a guy who has 35 MLB games, a 31-year-old right-hander. Uh, here is the wind surge opening day roster, the double-A team, and pretty cool to see that David Festa, who has not appeared in double-A, is on their opening day roster, and as expected, there's Brooks Lee as well, but there's a good look there. We'll be going through the other rosters as they come out. Uh, But again, those teams don't start until Thursday. Thank you so much to all of the channel members for sponsoring this video. And here are the premium members. Again, tomorrow is Member Monday. So if you want to see some highlights and my thoughts on tomorrow's game, hit that join button. Thank you so much.